Jesus spoke to his disciples. He said, fear not, little flock. It's your father's good pleasure, pleasure to give you the kingdom. So I wanted to speak this morning a little bit about fear. And every one of us in here has experienced fear at one time or another, if you're honest, right? There's a good fear. Now, now some, things, some fear is good. It's a good fear if you're like walking through the woods and you see a bear. You ought to be afraid and go the other direction. If I'm walking somewhere and I see a snake and thing, I, I'm turning around and walking, especially if it has a rattle on the end of it. Okay. That's a good fear. That's called fight or flight. That's, God had programmed that into us that if, you know, we're in a place and there's danger, it's like it's good to have fear and to, and to leave. Okay. But there's, there's some fears that are not good. And in the Bible, we're encouraged not to be afraid, to put our faith in God. And I was thinking, you know, we all hear of uh, phobias. I don't know if anybody in here has a phobia. Okay, it's a fear. And a phobia is kind of like an irrational fear, but it's like a compulsive fear. We've all heard of things like claustrophobia. How many, how many know what that means? Of being afraid of closed-in places, you know. Or there's hydrophobia, which is fear of, of water. You're afraid of water. Acrophobia is fear of heights. But there's, I, I checked this out on the internet. There's like 600 phobias that they have identified, that you know, psychiatrists have identified. I got a couple. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give the name of the phobia, see if you can guess what it is, okay? Okay, we'll have a little quiz. Okay, here's one. I'm, I'm going to have trouble pronouncing this. This is alliumphobia. How, how many people can make a guess what that is? Alliumphobia. It's a fear of garlic. Oh. Hey. <laughs> I hope you don't have that if you come to this, <laughs> because we like garlic. All right. Okay, here's a couple other ones. Now, this, this one, I'm going to try to pronounce this. Arachabuterophobia. 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 Anybody have this? I hope nobody has this and they get offended. But anybody, anybody have a guess of what that big name is? Now, it, now, I would have thought that, too, because arachnid, you would think that arachnophobia, but that's not it. There is, there is an arachnophobia. But that's not it. This is not, now somebody in the world has this because they've identified this. A fear of peanut butter sticking to the roof of your mouth. <laughs> now, I didn't make this up. I got this out of a book. Okay, this is, all right. Here, here's one. I mean, somebody in the world is afraid of getting peanut, peanut butter stuck because they've identified it. All right. Uh, catophobia. C-H-A-E-T-O-phobia. Catophobia. Anybody, anybody know what that is? Guess? It's a fear of hair. <laughs> My wife gets that about every two or three months and tells me to get a haircut. <laughs> okay. Now, here's, here's one, and I just got a few more of these, honest, I promise. We're going to get in God's Word. Uh, this, is, this is a modern one. Nomophobia. Nomophobia. Anybody guess what that is? Fear of what? <laughs> fear of gnomes. Well, that's pretty, no, it's a fear of being out of mobile phone contact. <laughs> you know. If you, you know, if you have that, don't drive on Greensburg Road, okay, or, or Route 28 because you get, all right. You know, if you can't text, okay. Uh, here's one. Colrophobia, C-O-U-L-R-O, colrophobia. Any guesses? This is a good one. It's a fear of clowns. I really think somebody invented that one so they could sue McDonald's. I, 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 <laughs> You know, Ronald McDonald, ah, okay, okay. Now, this, this next one, I think my wife thinks I have this one. It's called ergophobia. Anybody know what that is? Er, ergophobia, E-R-G-O-phobia. It's the fear of work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, somebody says, yeah, that's why I wanted to be a preacher. Okay, all right. Okay, now this one is really going to be, I just, just a couple more, I promise. This one is, Hippopotamonstrosequipedeliaphobia. <laughs> Fear of hippopotamus. No, not quite. I would have thought that too, but. It's the fear of long words. <laughs> I'm not making this up. Okay. You can look this up. I mean, everything on the internet is true, right? Okay. One, one more. One more. One, no, two more. One more. Okay. Omphalophobia. This is a horrible, this would be a horrible one to have. Omphalophobia. Any guess what that is? It's a fear of belly buttons. 
I mean, my goodness, what, what a horrible thing. You know, we all have one. It's like, and finally, panophobia. Panophobia. That's a fear of everything. <laughs> There's some people that are afraid of everything. They've identified all these things. That's kind of silliness, all right? But let's face it. Have you ever been afraid?